Hello everyone and welcome back to my morning report chart appraisals on Wednesday the 29th of November with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Handset Markets. We've had a lot of um, factors impacting on markets in uh, within the last 24 hours and uh, we've had a dollar rally um, that is taking place um, or has taken place from from what we saw as a breakdown initially on Monday that sort of rebound uh, into the close on Monday continued on Tuesday and that um, move was um, exacerbated by the news that um, the Senate um, Budget Committee was um, pushing forward um, or the uh, the bill the uh, tax reform bill had gone through the Senate Budget Committee and that opens it up to now to the floor to debating and possibly um, voting on the on the bill this week and um, certainly that has um, sort of ignited um, speculation that uh, tax reform could be uh, coming to fruition and um, certainly equity markets benefited off the back of that and that um, sort of saw Wall Street flying high about a percent on the S&P 500 strongly into new all-time highs we've seen uh, European markets also positive today now the other aspect um, affecting markets is the strength of sterling that has come through uh, yesterday into the close there was um, a well as an initial Brit, um, move to the downside on sterling yesterday morning but that completely got flipped on its head into the evening as um, there were suggestions um, that there had been a breakthrough in the uh, divorce bill negotiations with the EU for the UK's uh, Brexit deal. And um, certainly there were uh, sterling benefited off the back of that and it's now sort of 34 big figure. It hit a low of 32.20 before bouncing. So 180 pips of rebound in less than sort of, um, well, in just over 12 hours on sterling so really strong move to the upside um, and uh, that has really affected um, FTSE 100 as well big underperformance of FTSE coming as the negative correlation play remains in play there so um, we've had um, some big moves on markets there. a little bit of a, a retracement in the dollar today uh, interesting that that's come as um, the 10-year treasury yield has uh, sort of picked up still but uh, the dollar has just um, just unwound some of those gains that it saw yesterday, um, and uh, that is uh, sort of uh, still being um, playing out there on these markets. Um, so uh, yeah, lots going on. Uh, we've got uh, Mark Carney speaking today, and uh, also Fed Chair Jeanette Yellen. Um, the dollar also was um, um, gained yesterday on the back of comments from um, uh, from incoming uh, Fed Chair. Uh, Jerome Powell so uh, that was uh, another aspect there but um, as I said equities are strong Forex showing a bit of uh, dollar losing uh, dollar sort of giving up yesterday's rebound gold consolidating not much doing there oil um, has slipped back in the last sort of day or so yesterday's move uh, certainly on the back of the API inventory build um, sort of moving towards the EIA uh, inventories today but also we've got the OPEC meeting tomorrow to be to be aware of and now in terms of data um, we've got um, US is the focus this afternoon but before that we've got the Germans um, giving up giving their inflation data we've got you have the states announcing um, the individual states announcing uh, throughout the morning and then you've got at one o'clock the German countrywide data expected to tick higher actually 1.7% on both H um, HICP and CPI then we've got the um, US second reading of GDP the uh, prelim GDP um, for Q3 expected to be revised higher to 3.2 from 3%. So that will be an important um, data release this afternoon. The, the improving or ever positive US data releases coming through uh, on a continuing basis. Yesterday we had consumer confidence. Today we've got um, uh, consumer confidence, sorry, at 17-year uh, highs yesterday. Um, today we've got uh, GDP, which is expected to be revised higher. Um, you've also got uh, EIA inventories expected a drawdown, 3, 3 million barrels. But as I said, the API had an inventory build, so watch out for that could be um, a, an upside surprise on that number uh, and and also the uh, pending home sales at three o'clock as well so my chart today is the Aussie dollar now Aussie has been falling away in the last couple of days as this rally that we've seen uh, or we saw last week has petered out 
seemingly now beginning to sort of gain traction once more to the downside. You've seen these uh, stochastics rolling over uh, and RSI ticking lower as well. Now the the one main concern I've got with the momentum is this uh, uh, the MACD lines which have broken this downtrend but still remain negatively configured. I think that is just a warning sign rather than anything else and um, substantially positive uh, and you're still within this uh, downtrend uh, and you're still failing at that 76.20 level which um, the uh, is interesting because the 77.30 the market failed there and then interesting that uh, again failing at 76.20 which was the old support so these old supports become new resistance uh, and that is a continuing run there so the Aussie dollar looking to roll over once more so rallies are a chance to sell the momentum indicators on the hourly chart are are correctively in, uh, configured um, MACD lies below neutral stochastics failing under uh, under 80 RSI failing under 60 so it's all sort of points towards selling into strength near term and um, downside possible uh, likely retest of 75.52 and uh, 75.30 which was that reaction low that we saw um, that comes in ahead of 75 big figure and I've got 75 big figures because basically it is uh, a bit of a long term pivot but uh, these things are not exact on 75 figure but uh, certainly a move below 75 50, um, sorry 75 30 which is the recent low would just generally reopen downside so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later Thank